What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of BTV RV Rants. Let's dive straight into the questions. So the first question comes from a viewer who provided me all sorts of information about his 2013 Ram 2500 mega cab truck equipped with the Cummins 6.7 liter diesel. Gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds, gross combined weight rating of 25k, payload of 2,290 pounds, and a towing capacity of 17,120 pounds. He pulls a Grand Design Reflection 312 BHTS 37 foot long with an unloaded weight of 8,991, a gross vehicle weight rating of right under 11,000 pounds, and a hitch weight of 955 pounds. He's asking if his truck with his equalizer four point sway control hitch, which is the 14,000 pound version, would benefit even further by adding something like timbrins or airbags to his setup. Now, in my opinion, timbrins would probably help you a little. They really wouldn't count counteract anything that the equalizer is doing simply because the equalizer is generally going to remove some weight off of the back axle. So you really don't have to worry about the timbering going into effect any sooner than it might normally, but it's going to give you the ability for it to still act as more of a bounce control, more of a sway control, and add some stability to your rig, especially if there's going to be harsh winds or things that could cause the truck to kind of rock from side to side, or if you have to make an aggressive steering maneuver while you're driving. The next question comes from a viewer who currently tows a 27 FB Airstream trailer with a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,000 pounds and he tows it with a Ram 1500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi, Bilstein shocks, and the Airlift 5000 airbag setup. He uses the equalizer weight distribution hitch as well. He's had an instance where one of the rear calipers seized up and he felt heavy vibration while he was braking, specifically while going on off ramps, and he thought that perhaps it might even be better to upgrade to a 3 quarter ton truck or even a diesel and he wanted my thoughts. Well in my opinion I really don't think you need a diesel. A diesel might benefit you a little in terms of the diesel exhaust brake whenever you're going down grade but in terms of harder braking or heavier braking it's not really going to provide you any enhancements over a non-diesel and at the relatively lightweight nature of your Airstream at 6,000 pounds in reality you should be fine towing the setup you have with a half ton truck. What's probably more important than anything is potentially upgrading the brakes on your truck trailer so you don't have to worry about caliper seizing up in the first place. Even possibly looking at a disc brake setup would probably greatly enhance your entire towing situation, especially when you're coming off grade going down a ramp. The next question is from a viewer asking if it's possible to have an onboard air compressor that you can use for both your airbags as well as filling up RV tires or vehicle tires or ATV tires. And the answer is absolutely yes. All you really have to do is make sure it's plumbed correctly, you use the right types of connectors and valves, and you give yourself a chuck so you can actually connect an external air hose or whatever you would need to run to whatever you're trying to fill up. It's pretty common to do. Um, a lot of people have done it. There's a lot of videos on YouTube. YouTube of people actually connecting their compressor specifically in the fashion you're talking about. So the next question is from a viewer who has a 2001 Ford F350 four-wheel drive single rear wheel truck with very low miles and they are looking at getting a new RV in the future and they want to specifically see what they can do to help their truck handle weight better. They have no plans on going above the truck's weighted rating but they wanted to know what suspension enhancements or upgrades might help the truck handle any type of weight better. Now there are tons of products that can help your truck have a better handling suspension and help it handle weight better. You could upgrade your sway bar to a Hellwig sway bar, you could add airlift airbags, you could change to a different wheel tire setup even and eliminate some tire flex or some sidewall flex. You could even go with a passive system like a Timbrin system that simply eliminates some of the squat or some of the side to side roll when you're turning. But any of those will really help, just keep in mind exactly what you were saying try not to exceed the truck's payload rating and you should be just fine with any of those enhancements. The next question comes from a viewer who is looking to buy a Grand Design 320 MKS with a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,000 pounds and a hitch weight rating of 1,960 pounds and they want to pull it with an F350 gas engine single rear wheel truck and they're asking if this will work. First of all, I don't think that your hitch rating is based on your gross vehicle weight. I think your hitch rating that you posted is based on the dry weight of your trailer. At your full gross vehicle weight rating, I have a 
have a feeling your hitch weight is going to be closer to about 2,800 pounds or roughly 20% of your gross vehicle weight rating. So in that sense, you probably are going to be a little heavy for the back of your truck. However, you might be close. You're going to have to check the door sticker on your truck to see your specific payload rating. But regardless of that, that is a bit too heavy for a gas engine to tow. You are going to be putting a lot of strain on the engine and transmission of your truck. And I would really suggest a diesel if you're going to be towing it that way. So the final question comes from a viewer who has a 2015 Coachman 25 SE bunkhouse travel trailer with a 5,700 pound dry weight and he tows it with a 2012 F350 Super Duty four wheel drive with a 6.7 liter power stroke. They've had the camper for five years and they really enjoyed it. It's time to replace the tires though and he wanted a recommendation if I would suggest going up to a D load range tire from a C and I absolutely would. I think that that would provide you a lot of comfort in terms of overkill and have the additional tire capacity you would need, especially if you're going to be on the road for a longer trip. Always remember that proper inflation is just as important as anything else, so you want to make sure you put the right amount of air pressure in the tire for the specific load that you have. The second part of his question is about using a weight distribution hitch with his setup. Because of the relatively light weight of his trailer and the amount of weight that's actually being transferred to the back of his truck, he isn't noticing very much squat in terms of the back of the truck whenever he's hitched up, and he wants to know if he really needs a weight distribution hitch or not. Now, what I told him is, is that I don't really feel that you would need a weight distribution hitch, but that does not account for sway. So you may need the hitch just for its sway control characteristics, but if you're not applying enough weight to it anyways, it might not help you. If you do need some sway control, I would probably recommend the Anderson hitch, simply because more of its focus is on sway control than weight distribution in your setup, and it might actually be able to help you in controlling some sway if that is an issue for you. So that'll wrap up this round of questions from BTB RV Rants. If you want to send me your own question, please do it through my email, through my Facebook or Instagram page. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to this channel as well as my main channel, Big Truck, Big RV. We'll talk to you again soon.